more motors in your gym than you do at 45 pounds like this. Nice. Mobility is key here, dude. It should be nice for your lap mobility, too. Yeah, oh this dude's a sandbagger, dude. He's like, Mike, you think I'll squat 500? He's like, I don't know. He <laughs> takes 475 and throws it on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, I really don't know if I could do this. Look at this, Mike. I don't really know. <laughs> yes, Barr, I think you can do it, and I believe in you, and I'm proud of you. Have you seen what I was squatting? I saw you yeah, choke yeah. 475. JP, I don't know if I could do this. Could you watch? Yeah. See, that's how he does it. That's how he Good. does it. He's like a little kid. Come on, man. Come on. Oh. oh, 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 oh. That's so sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. That's heavy, dude. Bro, you can put the whole stuff. No shit. What do you think this is? Sacramento? Dude, I'm really we got good. real weights here. Dude, I'm really yeah. good. I got strong lats. He put almost the whole fucking stack on there. Yeah, I mean. That's my angle, dude. Yeah. These handles do feel good. They feel really nice, yeah. And the thing is, like, I've broken so many regular D handles that, like, this is a clutch. See, like, his natural arm path is kind of fucked up anyway, because, like, he actually has a nice back, you know, pretty big back. But me, you know, a small guy like me, I can, I can really keep my arms tight to my body. But when you got big lats, you know, you might come a little bit further out. So Mike gets a firm too, right? So now I'm actually focusing on that nice squeeze. Yeah, so before we're going lats, right? Yeah. A lot of lat working on. Now we're trying to what? Some rhomboids, some trapeze, uh, yeah, some rear some delts. Yeah, all that. So this one's okay to keep the elbows out a little bit more? Yeah, so I mean, that, this handle, like, you're gonna have to. Uh, it drives your elbows out for you, basically. What about that? these motherfuckers with anacondas right here? How do I get that? Those thick erectors. Just fucking, but I dead look like a maniac. I ain't done. Well, I, I mean, I'm not Teaster, so like, like, okay. you know? Yeah, dude, they got a speed bump from their ear down to the buttons. Let them rip, dude. Oh, Dang. I didn't want to say it, dude, but if one day me and Bart made sweet, sweet, sweet love, and had a child. Yes. It would kind of curly hair. It would kind of look like JP, dude. I kind of think just like uh, back it out. You would know, kind of rub yeah. yeah, yeah. So kind of like squeeze. Like if I'm going lats, right? And if I'm trying to go upper back, a little bit higher. Yeah. Up. Just maybe. No, I didn't think about pulling up too high, just because sometimes people will get this like kind of like trap elevation, right? So really just focus on like my arm path. Yeah, a little more neutral. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that looks solid. The only thing is, you guys get really good extension, so it looks like this bar might not even be a great option. Because we got fat stomachs, or? Because we got short arms and fat stomachs. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like if it's weaker at the bottom, then 
find something that's slightly weaker that's, and yeah. have more tension. And I don't think you have to match it for like every single muscle group either. But yeah. Like, you know, for some things, you know, especially when people are really worried about injury, their biceps, like yeah. an exercise like this is nice. I see. You know, because you can tell them, like, hey, like, you know, you don't have to be quite as worried now. I know. They can push a little bit harder. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need a ton of shoulder extension. Yeah, that's what's good. This hurts. That's tough, yeah. And then as soon as you feel on that, stand up with some hammer curls. And then once you feel on those hammer curls, you'll hit some uh, isometronics. So you're getting that sticking point in the back. There you go, come on. Two more, two more. Go, Mike! Oh. Let's get it, one more. Oh, you got one more, man. Let's go. Bam! Yeah, there you go. Bam! You know we have more reps on, uh, on this because you got somebody on this. Let's go, come on. Go, 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 go. Right. Doing like a skier splash now. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's all you need. Five more reps, dude. Come on. You got five more reps. The intro clip. <laughs> you wanna hit one of these, like, like a side tricep or something? Dude, let me get a picture, dude! Get in it, get in it! And breathe out, do it again. There you go. JP, is this how you do it? Good. Making me laugh, bro. <laughs> Oh no, he, not a drip of sweat. Not a drip, oh, of, really? sweat. Not a drip of effort. Not a drip of effort. I was, was, I was coming hard. through your pores. No, I was trying hard. So I was really thankful that JP walked me through a bunch of uh, back and by exercises. Because I've been, uh, been focusing on powerlifting so long for the last few years. Um, I haven't really hit back with that intention of really maximizing the the feeling there so it's just more like okay hit yeah, working different parts of the back right yeah, yeah then afterwards it's just like i gotta get this over with right yeah i feel like a lot of power lifters when they do rows it's not like a specific row it's just rows right yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. like yeah. some coaches will literally prescribe horizontal row yeah. or horizontal vertical pull. row vertical yeah i see yeah. that a lot yeah, yeah 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 so it was good to like like you giving me all these little cues and i'm like oh wow i'm actually like way weaker than i thought so I was really trying to keep the weights low. Yeah. Way more sandbagging no. than yeah. we thought as well. No, I wanted to feel. Like, well, you were you were just working on technique, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I have injured shoulders, so. Um, Honestly, I think you could have pulled like 1.5 times that, two times that easily. Probably. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, sure, I was sure. feeling it, and it felt really good. So thank you guys. Uh, thank you so much. And Mike's always fun to train with. Um, if they want to get more knowledge, more information, where can they find all your stuff? JPG coaching on everything. On everything? On everything. On yeah. Yelp? On, yeah, if you want to hit my food stand, yeah, if you want to hit my, yeah, <laughs> everything. Etsy, yeah. OF, yeah, yeah Etsy, Etsy yeah, Pinterest. Pinterest. No, but I'm on uh, Instagram, I'm on TikTok, and some stuff goes to Facebook, but Instagram and TikTok where it's at. In 2023, he'll be on YouTube. Uh, yep, maybe this year, maybe later this year. Hey. Yeah, we'll see. And maybe 2023, I'll do a bodybuilding oh show. Oh my, yeah. We'll do, yo, if you do a bodybuilding show, I will do that same show. What if we You're go powerlifting power meet? Yeah, what if we go powerlifting <laughs> meet bodybuilding show? I might. I might. I'll do the meet. You know, I won't have good numbers. Who cares? Yeah. What's the What's the actual pose of the graduation? I think it's that one. For this? Yeah. Yeah, something like this. Oh wait, what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be like a, like a stranger. A stranger wants you. You know, like a stranger. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 Where they grab the face? Full yeah. seriousness. Make it out of themselves. Yeah. Peace out.